Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a little tour up the Wailua River to Secret Falls. This is one of my favorite things to do on the island of Kauai. You can do this a couple of ways. You can do this in a guided tour or you can do it solo and I totally prefer doing it solo. If you're going to do it solo, you can uh, rent kayaks at the river or through a number of places. My favorite is Wailua Kayak Adventures. So if you're doing it solo, you got to get your kayak to the beginning. So that's what we're going to do is start by showing you how to do that. There's pretty much that one aisle and the, that one road, the Kohio Highway, that, that kind of goes around Kauai. And this, uh, this kayaking thing starts in Wailua, at the Wailua River. So if you're set, heading south on Kohio Highway, you, you pass Kapa'a, you go right through Wailua. And then you come up to this light right here at the Coco Palms. It's Kuamu <laughs> Road. Anyway, you're going to make a right on Kuamu Road. You're right on the corner of the Coco Palms here to your right. And very, very quickly you come up here and you're going to see a park on your left-hand side. Holy cow! And you're going to see a huge line of cars that frankly I've never seen before in my life that block the name of the park. It's actually, hey, aloha, thanks for letting me go. Um, Wailua River State Park is the name of it. You'll see the sign. I'm gonna do this for you. Right there, Wailua River State Park. So you pull, that was fancy filming by the way. Um, you pull into the Wailua River State Park and it, it's very short. Basically the Wailua River State Park consists of a parking lot to load and unload for the Wailua River, a couple picnic benches and a bathroom. What I usually like to do is drive to the very end by the boat ramp area and unload my kayak at that spot. So if all you do is drive straight, look how I'm going to do this, it's going to be like we're driving straight into the water. If all you do is drive straight in, you see a boat ramp right ahead of you. By boat ramp, I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking eight foot plank into the water. So park your car anywhere around here, as close as you can, because you don't want to have to haul your kayak all the way through the parking lot, and then unload your stuff and get going. So here we are on the boat ramp. This is that Wailua River State Park. And there is the Wailua River. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our kayaks right down here. We're gonna put our kayaks in the river and just start paddling upstream. It's a beautiful calm river as you can see. It's almost like there's no current at all. It's like paddling on a lake. And what we're gonna do, I'm guesstimating this right now, we're gonna paddle about two miles up this river, and then we're gonna dock our kayaks, and then we're gonna hike roughly about one mile through incredible jungle, and we'll end by getting you to a beautiful waterfall at the end. It'll be surrounded by a million people, but it's an incredible journey. All right, let's get going. Well, once you start paddling up the river, you barely get going from the car where you put in and you're going to pass a little kind of a fork to the right here under the road. That's not the way you want to go. From what I understand, that only goes up about 10 minutes. You can paddle it that way. There's a bird sanctuary. It's really, really pretty to do, um, but it narrows out. We tried to do it today and only got right around that bend right there, and then the whole thing was blocked off, the whole area, about 50 feet long with debris and everything. You couldn't get around it. So anyway, you're going to go past that. That's where the bridge for the road that you used to turn into the park is, and you're gonna continue on up the Wailua River. It's a wide river here. The important thing to remember on this river, this is the only navigable river, and I hope I said that right, navigable, navig <laughs> navigable, navigable, boatable. It's the only boatable river as far as motorboats in all of Hawaii. So motorboats are on this river, so the ethics, or the, uh, the etiquette, would be to keep your kayak on the north side of the river at all times. Hug the north side, give the rest of the river for boats. So that would mean going towards Secret Falls, stay to your right. Coming back from Secret Falls, stay to your left. And as you can see right back there is the road and that's where we came in. You can see some paddlers and they're staying to the left side 
of the river. They're actually a little farther out than they probably should be, but they got the right idea. So this is Smith's Tropical Plantation. They take a horde of absolutely miserable looking people <laughs> up to Fern Grotto. Pack 150 people into a two minute walk in a 20 by 20 deck and uh, charge 20 bucks a head. I think the Fern Grotto is a great place to go if you do a one time trip and you're kayaking and so forth. But as far as a the end all be all destination, not my, uh, not my cup of tea. It's a little let down. Got a good bathroom though if you're kayaking. That's the highlight, the bathroom if you're a kayaker. So as you're coming up the river, you'll pass this old Hawaiian village and you can actually check this out for five bucks. It's not a bad deal for five bucks. You can kind of walk through it and they have these old Hawaiian huts and they have all these little signs in front of them to show you how Hawaiians used to live back in the days and so forth. But the key thing about this is, as far as the Secret Falls uh, kayak and hike is concerned is once you pass this village, you're getting really, really close to that fork on the river that you need to look for. It's only maybe, eh, I'm really terrible with distance, but 100, 200 yards past, you see this turnout on the river. As you're coming up the Wailua River, as you paddle it, the main force of the river is going to continue on straight and there'll be a little offshoot to the right here. As you can see it's much smaller. The main of the river continues on behind me that way. So there's this little small shoot to the right and that's what you're going to take. You're not going to go down that too far. There'll be another fork to the left. You stay to the right and just past that fork you can't miss it. There's a million freaking kayaks back there. All right, so this is a landing spot for Secret Falls. You actually come down that river and there's a Y just before this parking spot. If you go to the left, it's an old spot, but uh, most people come and, and stop right here, just to the right of that Y. As you can see, it's hard to miss. There's a lot of boats here. <laughs> and like I say, it's gonna be about the most unsecret waterfall in all of Kauai. Once you park, you're gonna start hiking. Let's go this way. You're just gonna park and you're gonna hike. You don't know kind of where to go. So straight to the back. And as you hike through here, so you're gonna start hiking north, you'll see the trailhead kind of clears itself up. So you start here and come through all that, keep hiking back. And there is the trailhead and you just head down that. Love this hike, it starts off through these real, real tall grasses and uh, goes in and out of the sun and then we'll be coming up to a river which we'll cross really, really soon. Total jungle. I mean, complete, <laughs> complete and utter jungle you're hiking through right now. <laughs> This is overgrown a lot more than I remember it. It's always been kind of overgrown, but uh, the grasses were even taller. Had to climb under a tree that was down back there, a little opening. But even despite all that, it's still a really, really easy trail to follow. I mean, as you can see, it is clearly marked. It'd be hard to get uh, lost. And we're gonna cross this river up here. There's a rope up there, we'll cross it just a little bit up ahead. So you're gonna come across, <laughs> you're gonna come across, the <laughs> you're gonna come across that trail and, and cross the river here. It's not too hard. You wanna be careful. Hang on to that rope for, uh, for guidance because some of the rocks can be a little slippery. And when you get to the edge, be aware that some of them, are you serious? <laughs> gonna lose Pam down the creek here, I think. <laughs> Ta-da! And then, and then we're just gonna head on into these tall trees here, and we're gonna kind of parallel this river as we head up towards the falls. Just after you cross the river, you're gonna come to a spot here, and this is kind of new. This wasn't here all the other times I've done this before, but. The road looks like a trail goes 
Looks like it could go this way. Looks like it could also go that way down towards the river. We're actually gonna go towards the left. There's this huge, kind of like an open area. Almost looks like people have a fire pit. And then, I love this. This is one of my favorite parts of the hike. You come out through this little tunnel and there's this monstrous wall of ivy on the left and huge tall grasses. And you come out into the sun and it's just amazing. So you come out into these tall grasses and check that out. That huge wall of ivy over there. And we're just gonna walk through these grasses here. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Hello. <laughs> this is the most overgrown I've ever seen this. Isn't it awesome? Watch out for the wild boars. I hear them at those. I'm just kidding. Um, a lot of people on the trail coming the other way. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? So, like I said, it's not very secret. Love this wall of ivy here. And we'll come out of this on the other side, but we'll do this for a while. So after you come out of the, uh, the tall grasses, you're gonna parallel that river a little bit, and you're gonna come to kind of a Y in the fork in the road, and it's easy to make a mistake here. When you're going there, not so much, because you just do 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 but then when you're coming back, you see this Y that you never noticed before. So you walk them back, and if you're not paying attention, you go, uh-oh, the trail goes this way, and the trail goes this way. Which way do I go? You're gonna stay to your left coming back. Obviously, I'm walking us in a circle here. Go in there, you're gonna go to your right. If you're coming back, and you make the mistake, instead of going to the left back into those tall grasses, you go to the right, you'll go through all these roots and trees and so forth. And where's that gonna take you is to where the the dock side used to be in the kayaks. If you take that left fork back in that river, you park at the end of that, this trail's still here because some people still go that way and it'll take you to that right-hand side fork. But that's not the way you want to go when you're coming back because that's not where your boat is. <laughs> you don't want to swim around. <laughs> We've probably passed about 150, 200 people coming back and this trail, when it's dry is a lot easier when it's wet. When it's wet, it can be a little treacherous. When it's dry, you're gonna walk right down through here. They've got planks and all that stuff. When it's, when it's wet, that gets a little soupy down there and it gets really slippery. I just saw one dude fall on his butt right there. Lucky he didn't hit his head. He took a dump in the mud though. I, I hate to say it, but I almost wish I had that on tape. Um, I like walking up here through the roots because it stays a little drier, although you don't wanna slip and roll down the creek into the river on the other side either. That'd be what I get for saying, I wish I'd tape the other guy falling. But uh, yeah, so you're gonna hike along the riverway through this, it's actually pretty fun. Kinda cool, when it's dry, you can practically run this. And we'll pass a couple of creeks. I'm not gonna tape the whole hike, but I'll show you the creeks and stuff we're gonna pass and other ways you could go wrong up ahead. A Couple things I wanted to mention as I walk along here is two things. One, this trail looks a lot more <laughs> treacherous on tape than it usually is. Um, this is the first time I've seen those grasses, that tall, that grown in, which makes it kind of cool. This is the first time I've seen it this wet, although it's not common. I mean, we are in a rainforest for it to be wet like this. So a hiking stick's a good thing to carry along, but I also totally recommend wearing a good pair of hiking sandals. If you wear tennis shoes, they can get all muddy and then wet and mildewy and all soppy. If you wear flip-flops, I just saw a dude take off his flip-flops and he was walking through the mud back there barefoot and I said I said hey is it easier barefoot and he goes it's a lot easier with those flip-flops on so hiking sandals highly recommended for this trail something you can let get muddy you know and then just rinse off in the river and call it good afterwards I love how this trail just goes right alongside this river here beautiful you'll see a little kind of a marker up ahead actually see that right there and that's a marker that we're gonna be cutting up shortly after that Didn't do anything wrong when you see this. A lot of times people will pass that cement block back there that I think they used to use that to gauge the river depth if the river gets high. And then it looks like this and people go, oh no, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. This is actually the trail. 
So just stay on it and stay the course. Okay, you can fall. <laughs> you can fall now. So you're gonna pass a couple of little creeks on the way. This is one of them, be careful, because sometimes the rocks can be slippery. And uh, there'll be another one up ahead and a few more on the way to the falls as you get closer to it. Here's the second crossing. It's literally maybe a hundred feet past that last creek. And uh, again, you want to stay careful. These rocks can be slipping. What I really love about this one is this little pool of waterfalls right behind it that you can kind of sit in. If you sit on the moss on the rocks, be careful because I did it last time I was here and it stained my shorts for like a month and a half. It wouldn't come off. They were all mossy colored. All right, let's head back down the trail. We're getting really close. So this is really, really important. Here's that creek that I just showed you with the little waterfall is right when you pass that creek, you're coming up right here and it's very easy to just keep going. This caution tape may be here or it may not be here, but you see, it looks like the trail just keeps going, but that's not the way. And this is actually rope. Um, you wanna go left right here. So right after you pass the creek, you'll pass that creek with that little waterfall. And this is the one spot where you can make a mistake if you're not by yourself. If you go straight, no big deal, because you just follow that right up and you'll hear the waterfall. But you're gonna go up this little embankment here. I'm gonna try to take you with me just for the fun of it. So we're gonna go up this uh, and across these little creeks right here. So we're gonna come up here and over and across these creeks to the other side. See where those people are up there? And then we're getting really, really close. We're almost there. And as soon as you cross that stream, you can start to beginning to see the water falling from the trail. So we're gonna head up here and we're, Secret Falls is right there ahead. And you can kind of begin to see why I laugh about the name Secret Falls. But you can also see in this video why this is such a popular height. Let's come up on it. Right? So, you can see that nowhere on this island are you safe from roosters. <laughs> oh, shut up. Nowhere. So we're coming up on the waterfall and uh, we finally made it. So the kayak up the river and the hike, the mud and the tall grasses and so forth and people freaking everywhere. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find a rock of my own to sit on and have some lunch. 